and welcome back to my channel. I am Georgia McGilly from Georgia Beth Photography and today I want to talk to you guys about a value proposition canvas. So if you haven't seen already, check out this video above that I did last week on a business model canvas. It's just This is all about how to get your business going, how to take a business idea and bring it really right into a successful business model so you can set up and start your own business. So this one is all about our value proposition. So about creating value for your ideal client. We're taking the first two sections from the business model canvas that I did a video on last week. So make sure you go ahead and watch that. And we're taking the customer seg segment section and the value proposition section because it's all well and good having a great business model that you think is brilliant and knowing exactly how you're going to get your products to your clients and all that sort of thing. If you don't know who your customers are, what they want, what needs they need fulfilled, and then how you're gonna give them value, then none of that is worth anything at all. So we are just taking the first two sections from the business model canvas that I did last week, and we're putting them into action today. If you're interested in taking this even further and seeing some better, more detailed examples of how to use this, then go ahead and check out the blog that I've done on it as well in the description below. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any more business advice. And let's get straight into it. So the value proposition canvas is just a tool to test and design how you can create value for your customers. So the way that we do this is we break it up into two different sections. We've got our customer segments or our customer profile, and then we have our value proposition or our value map. And we're gonna figure out how these two things click together. So what you wanna do with your customer profile is figure out what kind of jobs do they need doing in relation to your business idea. So. If you are a dog walker, the job that they need doing is having their dogs walked, you know, simple like that. So what sort of jobs do your clients need? So on this customer profile, we are looking at the jobs that they want done. So these jobs could be several different things. They could be functional, like getting from somewhere to somewhere else. They could be emotional, so like, having peace of mind, not having to worry about something. They could be social, like impressing a friend or a colleague or anything like that. So there are so, several different jobs that they could be. For this example, we are gonna use me as a wedding photographer. So the job that my couple want done is to have a beautiful album of their wedding day. So that's the job that I'm gonna stick in the job section. So now carrying on looking at my customer profile, I need to then look at what their pains are in relation to getting that job done. What are the things that could get in the way that could cause worry? So if they didn't have me to provide this wedding service where I'm gonna photograph their wedding and I'm gonna provide them with some beautiful photos and put them in an album for them, what would the pains be? So the pains that the customers could have are things like they could have missed moments. So if they'd got a family member to photograph their wedding instead of a professional, um, their family member would probably want to be involved in the wedding as well. So they might miss some essential moments. They might have stress on the day, having to figure out what photos they want and not sure if they're going to miss anything. That, that family member would probably miss out from essential parts of their day that they actually want them there. And then it will be a lot of work afterwards compiling all the photos together and trying to create an album themselves. So this, these are the pains that that customer might go through if um, they weren't hiring me to do the job for them. So the gains are the positive outcomes. So these could be loads of different things, but these are things that your clients want from the outcome of this specific job. So they want, from this example, high quality images. They want to make sure that all their desired moments are captured and more. They want to be excited about their album. They want to see it and be wowed by the precious kind of memories of their day that's been put into this album. And they obviously want a really stunning final product. So we're gonna use this customer profile to really learn about the customer, figure out exactly what the troubles that they don't wanna to have to deal with, what are the positive outcomes that they're really, really looking for, and then we're gonna move on to our value proposition. So the value map of how I can provide value in that situation. So looking at the services and products in relation to this, the service or product that I am giving is their wedding photography and their album. 
And then we've got to have a little think about what are the pain relievers? So what are the things that I can provide that is gonna not cause them all those problems that they are worried about? So these are things like preparation. So when I am preparing for a wedding, I will meet up with them, figure out what are all the shots that they wanna make sure that they've got. I will prepare them, I will do this like little things like telling them when they do have their first kiss as husband and wife, make sure that they go for it, get, have a couple of kisses or get, have a long kiss and then that makes sure that I'm not gonna miss that first kiss moment captured in a photograph. Things like I've got professional equipment so they're not gonna have anything go wrong. I've got backups so if something happened to one of my pieces of equipment, it's not gonna cause problems to their day. I'm not gonna miss anything. Things like experience, I know what I'm doing. If they'd asked a family member to do it, then they're not necessarily going to know exactly what they're doing but I am a professional photographer so I know what to do and then the last thing the pe other pain reliever is that it is my sole job so I'm not going to be worrying about whether I'm missing something or whether I have to look after my children or anything that another family member who'd be taking the photographs would it's my sole job to just be there and serve them and take photographs of their wedding so that they can have that stunning wedding album so in this little set gain creator section you want to be putting out the you know what are the things that your products are going to provide that are the positive results that are going to exceed their expectations how are you going to wow them how are you going to create incredible gains for your client so the gains in this situation is i am going to provide for them a beautiful album with high quality images i am not going to miss any moments because i am super prepared and i have loads of backup stuff and i have professional equipment they will have a beautiful professional looking album so that's the gains so then now when we look at these two different things together, when we look at my value map, when we look at my customer profile, they fit, they fit really well. They're worried about missing moments. I'm not gonna miss moments because I'm prepared. They're worried about the stress. They don't need to worry about the stress because that's my job. That's my job to take the photographs. They're worried about family missing out. Family's not gonna miss out because I'm providing the service for them and their family doesn't have to do it. They're worried about having work to do afterwards to compile all the photos and put into an album. They don't have to worry about that at all. I'm gonna do all of that for them and just provide them with a stunning album that hopefully far exceeds their expectations. So when I look at these two sections together, this value proposition canvas has created what my customer profile is and then how I am going to deliver that service or that product in a way that really, really pleases them, that creates gain for them, that relieves their pains or their anxieties and worries, and then basically makes sure that my product or service is really sellable. And obviously the more that you learn about your customers, the more you work with your customers, the more you know what they want and what their worries are and stuff. And then you can carry on creating your product and service and making building it to be better and better so that you know that it is really fitting and creating something that is beautiful for your customer. So we're making sure that we are connecting with what matters to our customers and how that we can ease pains and create gains with our products and surfaces. So if you guys have any more questions about this, this was just a super quick run through and an example of how you can create value for your customers and provide products and services that are going to meet the criteria that are going to solve the jobs that they want to get done and actually hopefully far exceed their expectations. Let me know in the comments below what your business is, what you're working on, whether you've started to use this value proposition canvas, whether you've ever used it before. I'd love to get you know, to know you guys and your little businesses and just always remember that I am always cheering you on. I'll see you really soon. Bye.